Adeline credited her unchanging appearance to a combination of a healthy diet, exercise, heredity, and good luck. Adeline? Miriam, hello. My God, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, that's very kind of you to say. Fleming, you're all grown up. That's what I keep telling my mom, but she doesn't believe me. Oh. I'm sorry, we really must leave. But you you look like sisters. You better stop, or it'll go straight to my head. Well, how is that possible? A new face cream from Paris. Oh, made from the royal jelly of the queen oh, okay, bee. Okay, darling, but bye bye now. <laughs> Great seeing you. <laughs> Action was required just weeks later when, living a quiet suburban existence, Adeline was pulled over for a minor traffic infraction. Ma'am, it says here you were born January 1st, 1908. That's right. That would make you 45 years old? Yes. Ma'am, I'm going to hold on to this. When you come by the station house to pick it up, please bring your birth certificate. I'd be happy to, officer. Is tomorrow morning all right? Sure. Soon after, Adeline moved back to San Francisco and took a clerical job at the School of Medicine. There, she availed herself of every opportunity to research her condition. After a year of intense study, Adeline Bowman was forced to confront the fact that there was absolutely no scientific explanation for her condition. 